Casting is one of the fastest way to produce desired size and shape and it is also one of the most commonly used process. Parts are formed easily. It's a simple process. Just pour the molten metal into the mold and let it solidify. After solidification of the metal, we can obtain the desired casting part. Here the most important component in the casting process is the mold. Mold is the cavity in which the molten metal is poured and thus the cavity gets filled and we get desired parts after solidification of the metal. For the preparation of mold, we use some number of structural elements. In this video, we will try to familiarize with the commonly used terminology that are related with the casting process. Casting process is classified into two main types. They are expandable mold casting and permanent mold casting. In expandable mold casting, the mold can be used only once. After using the mold, the mold gets destroyed and we need to make one more mold for another casting. The example of expandable mold casting is sand casting. And on the other hand, in case of permanent mold casting, the mold can be reused multiple times for multiple castings. Total number of casting parts produced per mold can vary between 100 to 100,000 parts. This depends on various factors like what is the type of metal that are being casted, what is the casting process used to make parts, what kind of materials are used to make the permanent mold and so on. Examples are for permanent mold casting is metal mold casting, waste casting, continuous casting etc. These are also known as die casting processes. Let's see what are the common terms related with casting. The flask is a container that holds the molding sand. Flask is typically made of aluminium, steel, or wood and can be made in any desired shape and size. Flask can be divided into two parts. Top half of the flask is known as a coke and bottom half of the flask is known as drag. To align the cope and drag, an alignment feature is used ensuring a more dimensionally accurate casting. Flasks are reusable. Flask is designed with a special feature to hold the cope and drag in position. Lock pins are used. These pins are usually detachable with bolt and nut. They help cope and drag align and to hold them together. Also to avoid the pressure due to pouring of molten metal in the mold cavity or pressure due to thermal expansion of the molten metal. When the cope and drag are combined together, line at which both cope and drag meet is known as parting line. A small funnel shaped cavity at the top of mold in which the molten metal is poured is known as pouring basin. When the molten metal is poured in the pouring basin, it will filter the impurities, impurities such as oxides lag and dross etc will be filtered. Sprue is the vertical cavity in the mold designed to flow the molten metal from the pouring basin into the mold cavity. The sprue has slightly tapered cross section. At the bottom part of the sprue there is a change in direction of flow of molten metal. This area is known as sprue base. The cross section of the sprue is always reduced and every time when molten metal is poured, the sprue base is filled completely with molten metal. This will not allow the air to enter the mold cavity. After reaching the sprue base, the molten metal enters into the runner. Runners are passages that distribute molten metal. From the sprue, the gates or risers around the cavity inside a mold. Runners slow down and smooth out the flow of liquid metal. 
and are designed to provide approximately uniform flow rate to the various parts of the mold cavity. Portion of the molten metal enters the mold cavity is called has gate. After the solidification of molten metal, gates must be removed by machining. The cavity which is made according to the shape of casting is known as mold. The shape of the mold is made with the help of a pattern. Pattern is a replica of a final object to be made. It has same geometrical features as that of part we want to cast. But the dimension of the pattern differs. It is mainly due to two reasons. One reason for the difference in dimensions of the pattern is because we need to provide the allowances. Another reason is because of including core feature within the pattern. In some casting processes, if it is not possible to produce shapes of high aspect ratio, if there are any high aspect ratio shapes to be made, it is better to do machining after casting process. In the casting process, shrinkage is a very common problem. Shrinkage happens when the liquid metal solidifies into solid. To take care of shrinkage problem, the risers are arranged. The riser is placed in such a way that it feeds the molten metal to the cavity as required. So, riser acts as the reservoir of molten metal because the molten metal flows back into the mold cavity when there is a reduction in volume of metal due to solidification. The casting process, if we need to produce part with a hole or if we need to produce part with any internal cavity of any particular shape we need to insert a core of that particular shape this is the region where molten metal will not be able to enter due to the presence of core the advantage of a core is that it is possible to produce a part with internal cavities of desired geometry and because of this feature there is no need to perform additional machining operation to make a internal cavity chills chills are metallic object which are placed in mold purpose is to increase the cooling rate of the casting they are placed in a selective specific location to ensure good directional solidification of the casting chills are not part of the casting We know that when the molten metal settles down, it shrinks and distorts. So we need to provide support to the core inside the mold cavity. These supports are known as chaplets. Chaplets are small metal supports that bridge the gap between the mold surface and the core. Since chaplets become part of the casting, they must be similar material as that of metal being cast. Chaplets should not break and the position should not be disturbed in the casting. Standard size of the chaplet should be considered because if the chaplet is too thin, it might uh, um, melt as soon as the molten metal is poured. Thus, it might not provide enough support to the core. 